Hi, my name is Jimmy Staples. I'm the project advisor with the Enable Conservation Tillage Project here with Chagas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accurately identify lesser canary grass. So lesser canary grass has been identified in many areas of the country, but it seems to be a particular problem in the south and the southeast. So using the weed guide, the first thing you want to see is whether the leaves are rolled or folded within the stem. You can identify this by actually rolling the stem between your fingers. And you'll see that with canary grass, the leaves will actually be, be rolled. The next thing you want to look at are the leaves. Are there hairs present or not? The best way of doing this is to actually take the leaf, flattened, and roll it over your thumb, and then look down across it, and you will see if there's, the hairs are present or not. So with canary grass, you will find that there are actually no hairs present on the leaves. So the next thing you're going to look for is whether auricles are present or not. So you'll see with canary grass that it does not have auricles. However, you will see another quite distinctive feature in that as its plant matures at the base of the leaf around where the auricles will be present, it fades to almost being quite, almost white. The next thing to look for then will be the ligule. The ligule is medium to long, will be from three to eight millimeters in length and will end in a point. The colour of the leaves can vary from a dull green to a bluish green colour. It's also quite distinct in that it grows quite upright and throws off lateral shoots rather than tillern. So the seed head is a spike which is long and dense. And then finally what you want to do is look at the roots. The roots produce a very distinctive red exudate which you will see at the tips of the roots and at the base of the stem. Thanks for watching. If you require any other information, please see the grassroots section on our website, chagas.ie.